All right, oink, 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 it's Pig Nuts Week 8 coming to you live from the pig pen. It's Piggy himself, and he was rolling in the mud pretty hard last night. Uh, very hungover, went to the FSU game, got to go to the President's Box, which was nice, but also free liquor, uh, so I took advantage of that. I feel terrible. Robin's been puking. I slept with all my clothes on, including my shoes, but we're pushing through. We got a lot to talk about. I got my Finn shirt on. Uh, that game is going on right now. Miami's down by three, but I want to start off with Tradegate. Tradegate, uh, our league is falling apart due to trades that are vetoed or have not been vetoed or are being voted on. Bunch of you guys are pussy losers, mainly just five of you. The fact that the Avi Seamus trade even had to be voted on to begin with and even got close to not passing is crazy. Uh, you guys are haters. Clearly, that's not the same type of trade that Kaufman and Saul did. I understand that everyone's butthurt and we should have vetoed that trade. I agree. My bad. But moving forward, I think I've been doing the best I can as a commissioner. Uh, I think we should be able to rely on my uh, judgment moving forward. The trade having five no's is ridiculous. Avi traded Etienne, Scary Terry, and Mahomes. By the way, Etienne had 200 yards today. Uh, for Justin Jefferson and Derrick Henry, that trade seems pretty fair. Uh, I mean, Sheamus may even end up winning that trade at the end of the day. Who knows? So be better. Uh, don't be losers. Let's get to who's back, who's dead, and who's not back but not dead. Start off with who's back. We got anti-Semites again. I feel like every week I'm talking about anti-Semitism, but America kind of fucked right now when it comes to not liking the Jews. Uh, Kyrie Irving. Kyrie Irving went on Twitter and posted a link to a video, to a movie that basically says that Jews are the devil and that we're devil worshippers and that we started the slave trade, a bunch of terrible shit like that. He says that Alex Jones is really not that bad all the time. Ridiculous. Kyrie Irving stinks, always has, always will, continues to stink. Nets GM had to come out and condemn his words. The NBA had to release a statement basically saying that Kyrie's a Nazi, but they couldn't actually say it. Uh, Kanye West, of course, is uh, also an anti-Semite, still doing that. Skechers told him to leave the building. Goodwill's not even allowed, is throwing out Yeezys. That's how bad it is for him. Uh, we also had Florida, Georgia. At Florida, Georgia yesterday, bunch of Nazi shit there. They're putting on all their boards that Kanye was right about the Jews. Not great for us. Uh, Anti-Semites, though, way up. Uh, also, who's back? MAGA QAnon people. Nancy Pelosi's husband got beaten close to death with a hammer. I'm surprised this is not a bigger story. It's crazy. It's so stupid that this is the America we're living in. Uh, we have the Speaker of the House's husband being close to murdered, and he was looking for Nancy Pelosi, who's third in line to be president, and I don't know why no one seems to care. Um, I'll get to more of that story in a second. Moving on to who's dead, Josh Primo. Josh Primo's like this is supposed to be this really big prospect for the Spurs. He was one of the youngest draft picks ever. He was drafted like 10th. He's supposed to be very good. Um, and then they out of nowhere cut him. And he put out some weird statement that he wants to focus on his mental health. Turns out he was just exposing himself and like jerking off to a, in front of girls. Not cool for Josh Primo. Uh, he's dead. The Nets, the Nets are dead. We got Kyrie doing Kyrie shit. Uh, ben Simmons, who's horrible. KD must be miserable. The Nets are dead. And Brittany Griner lost her appeal. She's dead, going to the gulag for like eight years. I don't see any way that she's getting out of that. Not great for Brittany Griner. Uh, who's not back but not dead? Twitter. Twitter was officially bought by Elon this week, and it has devolved into pretty terribleness. I'm on Twitter all day, and it's getting super right-wingy. Pretty parlory right now. Uh, even Elon today, Hillary posted a link basically saying like, Oh, prayers to Nancy and her husband and all this shit. And Eli, Elon, underneath, who's the owner of Twitter, not great, posted a super fake article that Nancy's husband may have been in a drunken dispute with male prostituted to him in the house, and that's what happened. It's clearly the fakest story ever. Elon's posting it, and he said, well, this might have been what happened. It's just not great. Um, also, who's not back but not dead, Xavier Howard is being sued for giving a woman herpes who he met when she was working at the lab where he gets tested for herpes. So it seems like she knew she was getting herpes. I think she just wants money and she was okay getting herpes for that. I guess good for her. Not great for Xavier Howard. Uh, weather today, 
Giants Seahawks rain. That's the only weather. Uh, my picks were Dolphins minus three point five at the Lions. We'll see how that goes. Cowboys minus ten at the Bears. I like that. And the one game you still can bet on Giants Seahawks over forty four. Uh, like that. On to the matchups. I think both of those uh, uh, teams can put up points. On to the matchups. We got Shemmer Saul. Shemmer riding his hot streak, having sex with that girl. Very cool. Uh, Shemmer 144, Saul 112. AJ Brown has three TDs. Uh, Shemmer's world, and we're all living in it. Give me Shemmer in the win there. Mr. Lucky uh, actually playing pretty well this week for once. He's playing Kaufman. Kaufman has Jamar Chase out, Debo out, and Zeke out. Pretty unlucky for Kaufman. Uh, he has Pollard and Lamb. Gold has Pollard and Lamb both playing pretty well. Give me Gold in the win there. Weisberg, uh, Natsky. Natsky projected 122. Weisberg projected 108. I know these projections are moving while I'm talking, but it is what it is. So far, Josh Jacobs, who's been elite all season, is doing absolutely nothing. He has four points. Natsky has Dak with 26. Give me Natsky in the win there. Vivek projected 142 versus Isaac projected 113. Isaac did have Etienne go off. Love Etienne uh, for 23, but Vivek has Kamara, who has like 40. So give me Vivek in that one. Uh, next, we have Gins Danny. Uh, it seems that the Papa Juju has worn off for Gins' team. Najee Harris is a complete pumpkin loser. He has two points. He's horrific. Danny has Waddle going off for 22. Back-to-back -back wins for Danny. Pretty impressive. He might be on the who's back list. Give me Danny in the win there. And then it's me versus Avi. I'm projected 127. Avi is projected 109. Avi has Mariota. I have Hertz. Hertz has 30. Deontay Foreman has 13. I win again. Emperor up. League up. Be better. Still love it here, but just don't be bitches. On to next week.